It has been 66 years that I was separated from my family in North Korea. Judging from her age, I assume that my grandmother died. Father, mother, aunt, and s a n g i l s mom, all of them are over 100, and I wonder how they are. Are all of them still alive? I heard that North Korean people suffer from lack of food, and I'm worried that your family are all alive. I'm writing this letter after I read yours. I miss you so much that I don't know what to say. How thankful I am that you are still alive. It's been so long that I have missed seen you. I heard that you and Gon wrote me a letter which didn't reach me to my disappointment. I also heard that other family members there passed away. How much I miss my hometown. Recollection of those times when I was so young, when I was separated from you, I was so out of my mind. I miss my mom so much that I trace so many women with a towel on their hair, thinking to myself that we will meet again soon. Almost 60 years of long time has passed. I am already 77. A girl with a short cut hair became an old woman. On April 27, there was a historical event that summits of North and South Korea had met each other, promising to cooperate for the peace and prosperity of North Korean peninsula and reunification of two Koreas. I don't know how to express my feeling of full expectation that the reunification of two Koreas appears to be imminent. I was so excited and happy that we are facing the historical moment. I really want to see my relatives as soon as possible. I want you to apply for a family reunion so that we can see each other. I am now almost 90 years old, and it seems that this will be the last chance. When I was young, I thought my country was the best on the planet. And I grew up singing a song called Nothing to e n d i And I was very proud. In school, we spent a lot of time studying the history of Kim Il Sung, but we never learned much about the outside world. Except that America, South Korea, Japan are the enemies. Although I often wondered about the outside world, I thought I would spend the entire my life in North Korea until everything suddenly changed. Eventually, after our long journey, my family and I were reunited in South Korea. But getting to freedom is only half the battle. Many North Koreans are separated from their families, and when they arrive in a new country, they start with little or no money. I grew up in South Korea. To us, North Korea was always the enemy. Even before I was born, South and North have been under armistice for 63 years since the end of the Korean War. And grow up in South in the 80s and 90s, we were taught propaganda about North Korea. And the effect of hearing these horrible stories over and over instilled one word in a young mind, enemy. And I think at some point I dehumanized them. And the people of North Korea became equated with the North Korean government.
I need you to understand what the word escape means in the context of North Korea. We are starving, and hunger means death in North Korea. North Korea is unimaginable. It's very hard for me when people ask me what it feels like to live there. To be honest, I tell you, you can't even imagine it. Now, I live in the United States as a free person. And recently, the leader of free country, our President Trump, met with my former God. And he decided human rights is not important enough to include in his one of agendas, and he did not talk about it. And it scares me. We live in a world right now where a dictator can be praised for executing his uncle, for killing his half-brother, killing thousands of North Koreans, and that was worth their praise. He's the head of a country, and I mean, he is the strong head. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think anything different. Right. He speaks and his people sit up at attention. I want my people to do the right. same. The United States has great strength and patience. But if it is forced to defend itself for its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. And then we fell in love, okay? No, really. He wrote me beautiful letters. And they're great letters. We fell in love. Freedom is fragile. It only took three generations to make North Korea into George Orwell's 1984. If we don't fight for human rights, for the people who are oppressed right now, who doesn't have voice, as free people here, who will fight for us when we are not free? from history is that nothing is forever in this world and that is why we have every reason to be hopeful <laughs> 